Peyton, and welcome to our October 15th video. It is raining outside right now. Like, not even just little sprinkles that we had before. Like, it is raining right now. It's great. We had a build day for the play. It started raining, and we all went outside and started playing in the rain. It was fantastic. So, now to the main topic of my video. I've been doing a lot of history today in the last few days because yeah, I've got a history test coming up. And I want to talk about someone who I feel like deserves a theme song because, you know, they're just an awesome person. Also a man who probably shouldn't have been president in hindsight. Now, to clarify this, not all awesome people are necessarily good people. This specific good person may have um, destroyed the U.S. National Bank and been the main cause for the Trail of Tears, but he did do some really cool things, so, you know, here we go. Andrew Jackson, action, president, explosion. <laughs> Andrew Jackson, a president, someone who led this country, liked to duel. You'd have two people, and they turn in the opposite direction, and then they walk, and then they turn around and they shoot each other. They shoot each other with guns. You survive a lot of the time, but lots of times you kill people. You kill people in duels very often. Andrew Jackson participated in more than a hundred duels. He had to survive point-blank shooting more than a hundred times. And he did not die young. He lived to be a very old man, even in days when people didn't live to be very old men. There is an even cooler specific story about one of these duels. Andrew Jackson, action, president, explosion. <laughs> Andrew Jackson was at the horse races with a, I don't know, a friend, a colleague. And he won a horse, he won a horse bet and for a lot of money, and his friend was mad, and so he made a joke. Well, not a joke, he insulted President Jackson's wife, which was a bad idea. Because, you know, he had a temper. And so he challenged him to a duel. The man he challenged to a duel was a world-class dueler who had killed more than 20 people in his duels. He just randomly challenged this championship duelist. To put this in perspective, that's like President Obama challenging Mario Andretti to a car race and beating him, and then killing him. That is right, Andrew Jackson killed this world-class dueler in a duel because he made a Yo Mama joke. He killed this world-class dueler in a duel after being shot in the chest. They took ten paces, Andrew Jackson turned around, let the man have the first shot, looked down at his wound, realized that he had been shot in the chest, and shot the man in the neck. Presidents don't do that. He was also great at throwing parties. Andrew Jackson, action, president, explosion. <laughs> One of these specific parties was because some crazy guy sent him a one and a half thousand pound wheel of cheese. Just sent it to his lawn, he sent it to his house, and he just put it in his house. And then he just had a bunch of people over to eat cheese. Like a lot of people. It takes a lot of people to eat one and a half thousand pounds of cheese. And another ridiculously awesome unknown fact about Andrew Jackson was that he could break guns with his mind. Andrew Jackson, action, president, explosion. <laughs> Now picture this, a 67-year-old Andrew Jackson is walking down the street with his walking cane, and someone comes up to him and is like, hey, I'm assassinate you. He pulls out his gun, puts it up to Andrew Jackson's chest, and pulls the trigger. Nothing happens. So Andrew Jackson had been saved by this, you know, him destroying this gun's inner workings with his mind. The assassin then pulls out his second gun, because he's like, okay, I got this, and he shoots, and this second gun misfires also. He broke two guns with his mind. At the age of 67. After two consecutive attempts at assassination, he takes his walking stick and starts beating on the guy. Andrew Jackson, action, president, explosion. <laughs> beating the guy so much that people had to restrain him so that he wouldn't seriously hurt this guy. How did this man become president? So, that's one of the people who I feel like should have been the most qualified for having a theme song, and two, should have been the least qualified for becoming president. Thanks for watching, Peyton. You will be seeing me in my video on Wednesday. I'll see you next time. <laughs>